share when the season started obviously it started a little bit slow for you were you nervous about a second year how it was going and what kind of changed for you to find your game again especially in the scoring side of things yeah it's true my season started not good like and I want to help team but I started the season but I I know I can't my I feel it not like last year start of season and uh you can ask Daria yeah, <laughs> I, no, I so, sleep so, so bad after these games maybe first 15 20 games but after I'm very fixed with the coaches I had a lot of meetings they helped me I talked with agent with Sergey Brilin mm -hmm. a lot about my game and they told me just stop thinking about game about goals about like statistic and play start playing your game like more compete when your battles more focus on the small de details and your game is will be come back and when you talked to Sergey was that really helpful for you I know that you guys were close when you played in Binghamton but how much did he kind of help you in having those conversations <laughs> He helped me a lot to enter right now too because he watched a lot of games and sometimes we're talking about different plays, about like system, about everything and I don't know, it's, it's, it's nice to talk with this guy too because he won three Stanley Cups and yeah. he's so smart and he's coaching like 10 years already I think and it's fun to listen to him too. And I'm sure that, you know, your English is very good, but to have someone who you can communicate with in a familiar language, I'm sure, does that help even more for you? Uh, it's, I think a little bit, yes, but <laughs> uh, right now I understand a lot in locker room and I understand all of what coaches say it and it's helped to me too, because I remember my first year, it's... <laughs> it's not good. <laughs> um, what was it like for you when you when you started to find your game, um, be back with Jack a little bit when he wasn't injured, um, and what do you like about the chemistry that you and he have? Uh, yeah, I think we like to play uh, together because we understand what how he playing. Uh, he understands how I'm playing and. We have really good community in the locker room too. We're talking a lot about games, about mm -hmm. plays, and it's really help when we talk in the, in the locker room. And I'm understanding him, not like first, second year in America. <laughs> um, <laughs> it's really funny. Um, for you this summer, what do you want to do to make sure that the beginning of next year isn't the same that happened this year? I think um, maybe a little bit tired from last season yeah. because I played probably three different teams like Dynamo Minsk, uh, New Jersey national team and I had in August Olympic qualification too. It's a lot of games and Olympic qualification started in end of August and we need to like, be ready for these games and I push it my like workout a little bit early. Mm -hmm. And right now I will switch my schedule for season and I will fix it. It'll be nice, I guess, to just have a normal off season in a way, yeah, right? Yeah. Are you going to stick around here or what's kind of your plan this summer? Uh, probably this summer I will be more work out like in the state. In the state? All right. Thank you. Hey, Dor, this is, this is a young team. We've yeah. seen over the last couple of days, though, a lot of players have expressed disappointment, which is natural over the way the season ended. How do you feel the mentality is going for next year? And is next year a must make for the playoffs? Yeah, is this, yeah we have a very young team, but uh, I don't <laughs>
Uh, I think this season ha uh, we have like a couple games, really good one too, like against Colorado, against Carolina when we beat. And if we're playing like same way, like we play these games, and if we're playing more same games like next season, we will we have success and we will, we will try to make it playoff. Because this isn't it's not a lot of games where we success and we have like two games, three games ago like against Carolina we won two nothing and we lost this game. We need to fix these games too when we leading in the scoring in the score and we need to finish the game on the same like lane. <laughs> good? good. Alright, Pete, you're good on uh, Zoom. seeing all the fan support you've gotten. It looks like you've become a real popular player with uh, this fan base. Yeah, it's really nice when fans like me. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I don't know how to say it. Because it's really support when, you know, a lot of people takes it to you. You're a good player. Like, it's fun to watch you. It's really nice and... I want to say sorry because it's really a lot of messengers and it's so hard to take it back. But it's, thank you, everyone. And, and then just another one for me. Um, you know, this team was very fast and created offense a lot. Um, as you saw that start to be the way this team was going to be, I mean, how nice was that for you? How much does that play into your game and what you, you think you excel at the most? Uh, so yes. The way the team is playing, it's very fast-paced. Um, that suits your game and how you're playing. How much, you know, how exciting is that to see that that's the direction the team is going for your play? Is that good, Neil? Yes, it is. Thank you, Amanda. I appreciate it. Yeah, it's pretty good when we played really good offense and scored a lot of goals. But we need to, I think, a little bit fix it D zone, and we uh, talk a lot about D zone. Because we can't like uh, when team scored against us, you know, five goals. We need to just play it more aggressive and in uh, D zone too. When we play it good in D zone, and after we have a lot more chances in offense zone. Thanks so much, Igor. Thank you. Thank you, Sharon. Thank you.